What's up, everyone? Happy Saturday. We are down here at Long Beach today. Check this out. Check this out. A little overcast, humid skies, air. Kevin Brady's on. Kevin, you're first today. Live from Long Beach, Long Island, New York. Look at the sky today. Getting ready for a hurricane coming. Hopefully it won't uh, do too much damage. Happy Saturday, Kev. When are you gonna come ride with us, man? We're gonna get you out one morning. So today, the force of average took out everybody. I'm here all by myself. Well, not really. There's a million people on the boardwalk that aren't being average that are getting out there and doing their thing. But uh, <clears throat> we got up, we got going this morning, and uh, we started listening to uh, my buddy Mark Zalinoff's The Fitness Ninjas podcast with Ryan Stuman. And uh, Ryan always brings the fire. And he was talking about that we're in a time in our lives that uh, basically anything we want, we can speak into existence. The opportunity is there. If you want it, you can get it. Uh, in this world where everyone is being average, in a world where no one wants to work, um, you know, everyone I talk to is complaining that they can't get manpower or woman power. Everyone is looking to expand their businesses and no one wants to work. We went from a generation where our grandfathers were probably some of the hardest pe working people there ever was. Um, seven days a week, 12, 14, 16 hour days, working with their hands, getting dirty. Uh, we're getting a little competition here with this little bulldozer over here. Hard work, right? People up early doing construction. like squirrel for us with ADHD. Looking at uh, this guy going by. Right, so hard work. So our grandfathers were hard workers. Um, our dads uh, started to just become workers. I mean, our, my dad worked hard. Um, our generation, workers. Next generation, what's going on in the world? What's going on in the world? No one wants to work anymore. People want to just sit home and get paid. People want to sit home and play on their computers and play on their phones. Um, what is going to happen in the world when no one works anymore? Uh, he talked about, I don't know if you guys can see all the container ships here. So he was saying, again, I don't know if these ships are part of that, but I've never seen this many cargo ships sitting offshore. All right? Zoom on, I don't know if you can see them in here. There's, 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 uh, let's think. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, or 14, so container ships sitting offshore here. And all these shortages of all the materials and stuff that we're looking for, or a lot of it, they're saying is because these ships can't get unloaded that there's no manpower uh, to get these ships unloaded and get the stuff, uh, you know, truck driver shortage and whatnot, uh, to get the stuff where it needs to be. That a lot of the shortage, the stuff is actually sitting there off the coast and basically can't get unloaded and can't get distributed because no one wants to work. So in this time uh, where no one wants to work and everyone's being super average, the force of average is keeping everyone in bed on Saturday mornings instead of getting out and doing their workout, uh, instead of getting up and going to work. Uh, if you just put in a little bit of effort in this world and you just try a little bit, you can have anything you want. You don't even got to dive all the way in. I mean, of course, if you dive all the way in, you'll definitely get what you want. But in this world, it's not that hard to shine when no one wants to shine, when everyone is happy just existing, when everyone is happy collecting unemployment, collecting a couple hundred dollars a week instead of going to work for you know, thousands a week. Um, so just an interesting thing that uh, he brought up 
that, um, you know, in this world, it's really easy to shine. You don't have to get through crazy things anymore. Uh, with the internet, it's really easy to touch a lot of people. Um, it's really easy to connect. Um, it's really easy if you want it. Um, the other thing is uh, basically the power of the universe. What we speak and what we do, uh, what we speak into existence, it actually will happen. Um, when you think about stuff you want in your life and you focus on it, that's what you see in your life. Um, we talk about a lot like you want to buy, um, you know, I'm looking, I want to buy a Corvette, right? So I'm looking at a Corvette. When you're looking at a Corvette, everywhere you look is a Corvette. And you never realize how many Corvettes are out there because it's what you're focused on. Um, and a lot of you don't understand. If you're looking to buy a new, whatever, Tahoe, and everywhere you look, wow, everyone drives a Tahoe. Because you don't, it's what you're focused on and what you see and what comes into your life. Uh, so much like that, if you're focused on uh, living a healthy life, um, you'll keep moving in that direction. Um, it's what you want and what you focus on is what will happen in your life. So, you know, we talk about positive mindset. If you focus on being positive, positive things happen. If you focus on being negative, negative things happen. Um, you know, this, this journey I'm on, a um, buddy of mine reached out yesterday, and I appreciate that. Uh, checking on me, making sure I'm all right, wanted to know about this cult I joined. And, you know, it's not a cult. It's uh, just, listen, getting up and do the right thing every day. Get up and do the work. Get up and don't be average. Tommy Reek just jumped on. My dude over there, man, that guy kills it. That guy is not average. He does chimneys. Anyone needs chimneys? Um, that guy goes up, gets out every day, and does it. He runs white lightning around. Anyone knows white lightning? Um, we just get stuff done. We just get up and go. No excuses. Just get up and live your life. Make the most of it. Change the world. Don't be average. It's just so simple. Just make your mind up to just not be average and do what you got to do. Do what you got to do every day. Be a leader in the world. Don't just be a follower. You know, it's uh, get your message out there and just, just change the world. Be a leader. There's so many, so many average followers out there that are happy sitting on the couch, happy playing on their phone and don't want to get up and don't want to go to work. And just, I don't know. It's really sad what's going on in this world. I mean, our grandfathers and, and their grandfathers were some of the hardest working people around and no one wants to work anymore. No one wants to do anything. Everyone's just take and take and take. Just exist and just bumble through life. Like, just don't. Live with purpose. Get out there and live with purpose. So, all right. So, I've been rambling a little bit, but listen, I just, it's something that's really bothered me that, that everywhere you look, everybody's complaining. I think no one wants to work. Guys, we got to do the work. We got to do the work. Got to get up and get up every morning and do the work. All right. So, we're gonna jump in prayers. We gotta get this ride going. We got an open house later. So uh, I'm gonna give you some sun to look at while we do this. All right, in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Uh, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, please look over everyone that is watching out here right now, uh, everyone in the world that uh, surrounds me, uh, that everyone may live in a positive mindset, uh, that everyone may break this force of average that holds us back and holds us down. Uh, we are put on this earth to do great things, and a lot of us just just succumb to average. So, uh, listen, uh, we thank God for everything he puts in our lives. I mean, we thank God for this. We thank God for our health, for opportunity, for our people. The opportunity is there. We just need to take it. This is a world where you can do anything you want. We're in the United States of America. People run across the desert. They jump fences. They dig holes to get here, and we are here. We need to take advantage of that, and we need to get things done. So, all right, it's Saturday morning. It's early. Go make stuff happen today. Go make stuff happen today. All right, let's say good morning. Who else is on here? Joanne, good morning. Kevin Brady, love you, brother. Tommy Reek, man, it's great to see you on here. I know you're getting stuff done. 
Uh, Ryan, what's going on? Haven't seen you in a while, brother. Uh, Mike Flavin, how you doing? All right, we got some more people on here. So, all right, everyone, go kill the day. Go uh, make a friend, go change the world. Put your head in a pillow every night knowing that you made the world a better place. And if anyone looking for a house, who wants to buy a house, today we got open house 12 to 130, 35 Wag Avenue in Malvern. We have a nice big six bedroom, two bath, uh, 2,600 square foot house on a 7-2 by 100 property. So that is a really big house, a lot of bedrooms on a big lot. Taxes are only 16,000. Yes, that's low for a house that size up here in New York. All my friends out of the area. Uh, we're doing that from 12 to 130. Great home, all updated. Uh, we got that up at 789 and uh, we'll get that done. And uh, we also have the Rockville Center Co-op, one bedroom co-op. Rockville Center, um, 259. Uh, the maintenance on it is like 730 a month. So if you did that with uh, a mortgage, 259, you'd be paying like around two grand a month, which is what most people are paying for apartments for rent, and you would actually own it. So if you are renting an apartment right now and spending around two grand a month, come talk to me. We'll put you in this co-op, and you will start building equity, and you will own something, and you will have something going forward that you could either keep and rent or you could live there for your whole life nice and cheap and uh that's it so that's what's on the schedule for today tons of buyers out there still looking to buy homes so uh we got to go find some more inventory so if you're thinking of selling let's talk let's talk the buyers are there and there's nothing to sell them so that's the problem we're dealing with all right outside of that and no one wants to work so go out and do the work god bless i'm gonna go keep riding we got to get the mileage in and uh have a good one.